Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of the weapons of hot dogs, horseshoes and hand grenades. Today we are going to take a look at another little pistol. This is the Beretta M1951. A semi-automatic locked breech pistol made in Italy in 1951. Uh, it was made between 1951 and 1980s, designed by Beretta as a brand new pistol. Uh, yeah. But it didn't turn out to be that popular. So it's a locked breech design. So uh, no basic blowback. It has a single stack magazine with a bullet that disappears on me. Come here. Thank you. 9mm parabellum chambering. Made by Beretta, as said. And it is the predecessor to M9 or the Beretta 92. It does have some changes though. Single stack magazine, like I said. This is an early version of the Brada 92, basically. Didn't turn out to be as popular either. The Egyptians would adopt it. Early versions would have a alloy frame. However, excuse me for a moment. <coughs> Ooh. However, the alloy frame would turn out to be too weak. So they would switch over to a steel frame. Which sadly would increase the weight of it. It is a single action pistol, so pulling the trigger, nothing happens. And uh, now it can go boom. It has a safety and a decocker. Oops. Safe. Fire. It uh, ejects out top. It has a magazine release in a unique place. The magazine release is this button over here. This lower frame, which is a bit different. Usually you see like a heel release or a button over here, but not on the Beretta 1952. 1951, correction. Standard pistol sights. Just like most other pistols, locks open on empty, pop a new one in, release the slide, and you're good to go. It is a capable pistol, 9mm parabellum, of course, is a solid round. However, as I mentioned, the 1951 didn't turn out to be that popular. However, its replacement, the M9, would turn out to be very popular. The M9 would be an update, essentially updated version of this. But the M1951, it is a solid pistol because, you know, it's a 9mm semi-automatic pistol. And by this time, he had basically figured out semi-automatic pistols. Only drawback is really its magazine and the magazine release. Other than that, it has all the features of a modern pistol, except for, of course, sights, but that's not that important. Well, I say that's not important. Personally, I prefer iron sights, but it is a big drawback if you prefer a red dot. But other than that, it is a modern pistol. You could easily use this in a war or as police or whatever. Other than the magazine capacity. Magazine capacity lets it down. Magazine capacity is the number one reason why I wouldn't use this. Especially since I prefer iron sights. Let's see if we can get that far one. Hey, I got it. So, uh, yeah. The Beretta M 1951. It's a simple, modern pistol. I do hope you all enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!